Hey guys, uh, today is a uh, kind of a simple video, simple technique. Let me adjust my camera. Um, I'm going to show you how to do burnt uh, metal or burnt pipes. You know, I, I build motorcycles also, and uh, you get the burning on the pipes. And I'm going to show you how that's done uh, pretty simply with the airbrush. Um, even getting remotely close to it, the illusion of the burned pipe is all you will see. So this is pretty easy stuff. Um, first, let me show you uh, my picture here. What I want to, uh, we're going to try and achieve. There you go. Now that's a burnt pipe, and um, this is just the end. This is more for show, but to, you know where the pipes bend and curve. Uh, on, uh, if you ride motorcycles, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I ride BMWs, and and uh, when they come out of the motor. Right there is right where the bend is, is, is where they always turn. Um, but this is the illusion we're looking for. There's a burnt pipe. You got the blue into a purple into a bronze, brown, uh, orange color here. And uh, that's the effect we're going to do. And this is the order we're going to do it in blue, purple, and this brown. Um, for this, I'm going to use Mr. Color deep clear blue now you can use any blue I'm reaching for my Tamiya uh, any clear blue I mean I grab this because I, I think I got two jars of it that's the only reason um, like I said even though it even looks close won't look exactly like this the illusion is still terrific even in a push it you're shrinking it down a lot it really looks good uh, I have this clear purple from mr. color also in the GX lineup and I'm gonna again I'm gonna use this clear brown that I used uh, in one of my other videos but you can use orange just keep that in mind orange and even if you put a spot of black in it just a drop in your clear orange it'll come out nice and dark and even with this we're not using a lot we, you know we're just getting the fading effect we're not even using a lot of purple either you know we're using mostly it's mostly blue then it fades out because you're getting to the cooler zone where there's no burning at all uh, we're gonna do it on a, on, a, on a spoon and I and I took this plastic pipe and I chromed it with all clad and uh, we're gonna try that too um, and show you the effect on the pipe and that's it it's gonna be pretty basic pretty uh, pretty straightforward out of the airbrush we'll head over to the booth now it's just light light strokes and uh, before you know it you got a terrific looking uh, uh, effect on your kit um, I'll see you with the booth and uh, I'll show you the process and if in case you're wondering what's back here uh, I got all the model masters are going out of business so I'm grabbing them while I can these are their metalizers we're gonna do those these are their, basically, this is their uh, all-clad lineup. And believe it or not, they're lacquers, which they usually don't do. So, it, hopefully it performs as good as, uh, even closely to uh, all-clad. Uh, I just got all these metal cuddles in from uh, Colors, stepping over my words, from uh, Ammo by Meg. And these are coming up too in another video. I, I just unboxed these, so that's why they're in front of me on the desk. And I got this shiny brass, shiny gold. And chrome from uh, Mission. So we'll be testing those against all clad also. But anyway, this video is for the pipe right here. Head over to the booth and uh, we'll start the process. Now, we're going to do it in reverse. As I wrote down the colors when I started this, you want to do it in reverse. So we're going to do the brown first, overlap by the purple, and finally mostly the blue. So we're going to work backwards. All right, we'll take these colors, I'll thin them properly, and I'll see you at the booth. All right, guys, uh, first color in, clear brown, Gaia. Oh, got some on the finger. Um, it's coming out good. All right, we're going to start in a little bit, obviously. And I, I can, I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit. So you might see a lot of each color. I just want to show you the effect. You could probably come in quite a bit. I'm going to do a lot of each color, I think, just to show you the effect. It'll show up better on camera. Just take the effect and shrink it down when you do it on your kits or on uh, any cannons. If you got a, you want to put a heat effect on a gun cannon kit, just, just it's the same technique. You're just going to slow it down quite a bit. That's all.
Hope you guys can see how gradual it is. And you can turn the air way down. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to go over this with the purple next. So we're going to eat, we're going to layer it is what we're doing. Well, it's mostly blue and then each color is gradually less. All right. That's all we need for that. See it? It'll look better at the bench. Once we get up to the bench, I'll show you the effect close up. But what we're going to do now is, let me put this over here on one of my sticks. Okay, we're going to do the spoon to give you a little more uh, an easier visual. It already looks good. I'll shrink it down a little bit. I'll do it with one of those tiny, uh, one of those little tiny spoons that I have too. I'll do one of those too. You want to go darker the further in. You want to feather it on the end, let it subtly end out, spread out, and then you can go deeper on, on the end. And that's it. I mean, the spoon's easier because it's, it's a flat surface. All right, so from here we're gonna do the purple and then the blue. All right, let me go mix the paint and I will be right back. All right guys, uh, next color. We're gonna go with the purple. Uh, once again, don't forget, if you don't have purple, blue and red, which are common colors. A lot of people have blue and red uh, for their clear colors. Uh, purple's a little obscure, but you see my paint collection. There seems to be a, one of everything on that wall. But uh, if I didn't have it, I was just going to mix. As a matter of fact, I forgot I even had it. I, I was going to mix uh, blue and red anyway. But next color is purple. Not as much purple after doing some research into the color of a burned pipe. So uh, we don't have to go crazy with the purple. Let's test it first. Nice and subtle. Now, this is going to be uh, it's a subtle it's a subtle uh, effect. So you really. Uh, you really want to go light with the technique and it's going to take a little bit to get the purple to show up if I recall using that purple on another project starting to go yeah. There we go. Like I said, the purple is, is the s most subtle of all of them because it's, it's the in-between color. Yeah, looking better now. And this looks really good, even on half the size of this, it's... it's it won't take you much to do it. it. The effect is really, really good. It'll take the kit to like another level beyond just airbrushing it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that because that's subtle. That's the subtlety I'm looking for. We'll look better at the bench. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do the spoon. a wider area so I'm gonna have to come straight across more start to come in you can also flash dry it with just the air the lacquer dries pretty fast Coming in now. I think the purple is a transition color into the brown.
Now I'm going to feather it out into the brown. There you go. You get that waving effect. Now, the blue will polish it right off, and uh, you'll see it in full effect once we're done. All right, I'm going to grab the blue, and let's finish this up. All right, guys, final color is the blue. This is deep clear blue, 103 from Mr. Color. Let's see what we got. I turn up the air when I clean the gun. I forget to jack it back down. That's good. All right. Back to the pipe. Here we go. Blue should be the easiest because you're going to flash off the end with the blue. Already looks great and then uh, you can put a gloss over this at the end and that'll seal it all in and it'll give it uh, a, a, it'll smooth everything right out now you can go right into the purple in this because there's not a ton of purple in all the uh, images in my own bike it's mostly the blue and, and the brown This is a simple effect. All you need is the gun and the colors. I think anybody can handle this. It's just the know-how of just picturing it and laying it down. That's good. Why go on any further? Let's finish off our spoon. Trying to get it so you guys can see it as it's going on. Now as you pile it onto the purple, you can see the fading that we're getting here. See it? I'll call that done. Yeah, it looks great. All right. We'll get a little more closer scrutiny of it under the light at the bench. And uh, we'll wrap this up. I'll see you back at the bench. All right, guys. Here we are. Back at the bench. And uh, the results are really good. Here's the pipe. Look at that. Burnt pipes. <clears throat> All right, now, uh, you know, you're going to be working probably on a much smaller scale. Here's uh, the gun I'm going to probably do this to when I finally get it to display with my Gundam. That's it. You're just going to do blue in the beginning, purple, brown, just work it in reverse so you get a nice fade out. All right. And that's it. That's burnt metal. Here it is on the spoon that we did. I mean, if I held up a candle to my spoon, a real spoon, you know, or a piece of metal, this is how it'll look, particularly when you start where the heat is and it works out, and that's what you got here. Can you, can you see the subtle purple? This is the order, blue, purple, brown. Um, pull up like I did on your tablet or your other phone. You pull up the image of the, the pipe, and you just, that's all you got to copy, you know. There's your colors right there, blue, purple, 
and the brown. And like I said, you can use orange. That's what the orange looks like before it piles up. I probably could have, I probably could have just did the orange, clear orange I have from uh, several companies. I got it from, let me see, Mr. Hobby and Tamaya. So uh, either one. But I had the brown. I used it. It literally looks just like the orange. But check that out. That is a terrific effect. And I also told you I was going to do it on one of my little spoons that I got from the dollar store. And there it is on that too. And matter of fact, I used this as a tester before I went on with the, the full, uh, the bigger spoon in the pipe. And it came out good. So that's it. That's an easy way of getting burnt metal. Here's the pipe. Uh, on your plastics, simple airbrush technique. Let's turn this so you can see it better. There you go. The simple airbrushing technique that uh, I think anybody can do. Oh, let's move this so you guys see it like that. All right. So I want you guys to give this a try. Any questions, let me know. Um, I thin these 50-50. You can even go 50-60, uh, 50-70 with these lacquers. They, they just, they're very forgiving. They go on. They dry almost instantly. Don't run. It's, it, uh, it's good stuff to work with. And uh, so that's all. Let me know if you guys have a question. If you have a trouble, let me know. Uh, let me see for the pressure. I had it. Looked like I had it on 18. I had it on 18 on the on the uh, compressor. And that's it. Here's the the testers, model master, uh, metalizers. We're going to be doing soon. We're going to do the model ma these model missions, mission models, uh, plated chrome pieces, and we're going to do these uh, metal colors from. Ammo by MIG. Those are all coming up within the next week. And like I said, give this a shot. I think you guys will love the results. Truly professional looking. Minimal effort. And uh, it'll make your kits look great. And uh, that's all for now. We will see you in the next video.